Oh, welcome to A Fine Mess. An interesting game I found on itch.io. Um, it's just really bizarre. It's a narrative walking simulator. No horror elements. Uh, but it just looked really interesting, like it had a really nice story to tell. I wanted to figure out for myself. It cost one nine one ninety nine, and I thought, I'll give it a try. It looked interesting. I'm trying to remember what walking simulator was popular on Steam. Yeah, use mouse to walk. I, I know, I know. I'm trying to remember. There's one that was like on an island. You guys will probably know like instantly what the hell I'm talking about. It was like an island based one. You to interact. It's pretty leg. I might have to reduce the visuals. It almost looks like it's running on like the source engine in a way. Let me, let me reduce the visuals. Hopefully it doesn't fuck with my recording. So I'm just going to stop it quickly and then, and then fix it. Oh yeah, I made a medium quality. I mean, that makes me feel a little bit miserable because my computer's not really that bad. It's only when I look out here. Over here, it's perfectly fine, fine, fine. Oh god, no. So, let's just, let, let's just actually start playing the game, though. Apparently, there's a woman on a beat. Oh, this woman! Can I zoom in? The intrigue of this game... It also had a really nice soundtrack, at least in my opinion. But it, it's 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 the about the mystery. I I don't want to ruin the mood by talking a lot, so I'll just try to talk less. Well, there is a weird woman that is found on the beach. What is she doing and who she is? I don't know. But it is the mystery that I'll find. Uh, I don't know, that just, it's just an interesting mystery, perhaps. Especially, apparently, I'm just gonna wait and see if she actually sets up her chair and something happens. I know she'll start reading a book by the trailer I watched of the game, but... Essentially, it's a 30 to 60 minute game, if I were to recall everything from the game store page. The 30 to 60 minutes of a walking simulator and mystery, and there's a bunch of secrets to be found. What are you going to do now? Is it just the walking animation? Everything else is just me not staring for long periods of time like I am right now? She set up her chair really far away from each other. I'm not sure if the whole point is for me to meet her. But let's just continue on the trail, I guess. I don't know if there's going to be secrets if I were to go off the trail. Nope, can't. Alright, so far linear then. Alright. What I'm doing and why I'm spying on her, maybe I'm a creepy stalker. I don't know. The other thing would be, uh, there's an eyelash trying to jab my right eye, so if there's moments where I just have my right eye closed, you'll know why. It's like, I don't even know which eyelash. I look in the mirror and I'm like, which eyelash is the one that's trying to fucking stab me? I don't see it. And then when I stop looking at the mirror and I go back to my computer, it's stabbing me again. And I look back at the mirror, I'm like, where are you? I look at my eye, and I still don't see which eyelash is stabbing me. So, I don't know. What is this? I don't know why it's still lagging on me. It's, I'm guessing it's just the game's not really well optimized. alcohol and flowers and it's someone's grave is what I presume but I am a little bit sick and tired of the fucking leg to be to be frank and honest it would be really immersive probably much better so if uh, it just wasn't so unoptimized unfortunately Like, if you're trying to immerse yourself in the game, for instance, then you just, like, look around and you're, like, trying to... trying to, uh... enjoy the landscapes, and you're like, oh, wow, look at around, but it's hard to... when things are running at, like, you know, fucking, like, 15 frames per second. Ooh, is this a better spy scope? Can I zoom in on this one? Staircase. It's 
Where does it lead? Well, let's just find the beach, whatever. Birds? There you are! The music cue instantly told me I'm meant to be looking here. And she threw a rock. Now, I'm just maybe assuming the story is your guy roaming a beach of your wife who died and you're now seeing her in the distance but she's not real Maybe like a story about grief and whatnot that's gonna be my quick assumption well a little dangerous don't tell me they're going to disintegrate though they just Okay, that's good. Okay, they're, they're sort of in the way, but sort of not. As long as they don't get crushed alive by spontaneously dropping rocks. That'd be great. Why are they dead, dead birds? They're, just, they're sort of teleporting in the sky and dropping. Some kind of symbolic meaning? Perhaps. Perhaps. No idea. We're just, we're just moving on, of course. Until I find the next event of what's going on. It is a walking simulator, after all. Well, don't... Oh, oh, I th that's, that's, that's going to the beach. So, okay, so she got hit by meteors now. Or asteroids. I'm sure she'll be okay. She'll be sitting on her beach reading a book as if nothing happened. Uh, let's go up here, I guess. Secret. Shh. Things just happen to be going in slow mo. Oh. Wish the mass movement also felt smoother. Like. Little kid or a very short woman? Okay. Could be one or the other. Maybe a daughter. No idea. So it looks like there's a weird intersection here where I can go to the right. No, no, oh, no! Okay, thank God. I thought it was like a place with no return. Thank God for that. Okay. But yeah, there's an intersection where I can go straight ahead, follow the path, or go off the path, and perhaps find new secrets. Well, then the question is, how far can I go off the path, and why? Something about a bridge and a tunnel. Oh wait, I can I can actually jump. Wait, what? I am what? I heard... I don't think I'm meant to go back here. I don't want to get stuck. I don't want to get stuck. Don't want to get stuck! I don't... No! No! I didn't... Oh no. My curiosity got me fucked. Oh no. Wait, maybe I can... Maybe I can... Get out of this? Oh! Thank God! Whew! Oh. Okay. I got out of it. Speed limit 20. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. I, I, we're not meant to be up here. I don't think there's any secrets up here. Uh, we're just not going to do that. Although. Nah, I, I don't want to fall through the game. I'm going to I'm gonna make sure to. Uh, there is a save function, apparently. So I'm going to save this. Just in case we do get stuck, then I won't have to redo everything from the beginning. So now the question is, that way or down here? I think down here will be off the beaten path, thus it'll be a, a secret or just something of a dead end. Get truck it down here. What's it about? A car crash and death?
Weird? Trippy? I think I should get the radio replaced or the dashboard that's kind of fucked up if it does shit like that. Like, first it shows old, what, like, Greek painting, and then it goes into, like, an MS-DOS mode, and then it glitches out. Probably gets a blue screen of death. I don't. I don't really much appreciate bad hardware like that. But I don't know what else can I say. I think that was all I needed to see here. Unless they want me to climb this mountain. I don't think so. So we're gonna go back on the path. More asteroids. Hmm, I actually wonder what that is in the distance. It almost looks like... It's like a destroyed moon, almost. Because, I mean, we have the sun, perhaps, somewhere around here, and that's definitely not the sun. It wouldn't just be, like, this giant asteroid. Or actually, maybe it is. See, either it's the moon, or it's a really huge fucking comet that's going to strike the Earth. And all that's, like, the little things coming and hitting on us is simply... The debris coming off of that giant asteroid that's like like really huge and coming down on us, or maybe it's the moon that got smashed and there are pieces of the moon flying down. Well, something to keep in mind because that doesn't look normal and it's definitely it's definitely put there for a reason. Wait, where? What? What's going on? Oh! More. Ooh. Pretty. When I say pretty, I mean it's, it's, it's destructive and horrible. There'd be like tsunamis killing tons of people at that rate, unless it hit land. Then it used to be a shockwave and, you know. Still death. But we're we're not concerned about the meteors. We're concerned about the woman on the beach. If I can find the beach. Oh, a lighthouse. Is the lighthouse important? I don't think so. Oh, here's the beach. Where is she? I can't seem to... Oh, oh, there you are. You know, the seagulls like to... Give her attention? I, there's no music, so I'm assuming maybe I'm not looking at the right thing. Because I think, like, every time I do look at uh, the right thing in these things. In the telescopes? I don't know, I can't remember what these are specifically called, but you know what I mean. Is, uh, look at what you, the, the game wants you to see, it will play music, is what I'm presuming is what I need to do. So I'm gonna look around a bit, and see if I can find out what maybe it wants me to see here. The boat? Oh, oh, here's what the game wanted me to see, miss you. Okay. I to say, because looking at... Looking at the woman didn't do it. Looking at the broken down ship, because we can't unzoom or zoom out. We have to look at this really, what feels really magnified scope. And it's just, it's not about looking at the woman this time. But at least I figured out, if you have to look at the one thing, isn't, uh, maybe we should try to look at the destruction. So it's really to the right. Let's see. Zoom. Uh, can I see the destruction? 
Is the boat? No, I can't move anymore. Okay, no more of that then. I think seeing the message of miss you on the boat is all I needed to see. Alright, what's over here? Now, the teddy bear that the girl had. Hmm. A little girl again, but inside a abandoned building? I am definitely... Oh, there she goes. I definitely am thinking a catastrophic event featuring asteroids or the moon just fucking blowing up. Or maybe an a, a giant asteroid hitting the moon, the moon exploding, or it's just simply an asteroid that hit the Earth. And the shit's going crazy. What? I don't know, it's all theories for now. point specifically for why there's a window to look out the look out here it's like a city in the background maybe that's it it's where the asteroid hit possibly hit the land where a city is and not the water by it I'm not sure Wait, wasn't this... Wasn't this statue destroyed? I swear I saw it toppled over, unless it, for me to pass I needed to actually listen to the radio. Then it fixed itself to make it uh, not be in my goddamn way. What? You saying something to me? No, I, I don't think I like the a part where... A statue goes... My ears. Not really at all, no. Weird. Hmm. Well, a semi-destroyed looking city in fire. Asteroids? Oh, nope, just building collapsing, that's okay. I mean, that's not okay, obviously, but, uh, I don't know, it's a little better than a, not an asteroid, you know, smashing into it and everyone dying, but maybe that's already what happened. Alright, now what's this about? It's like it, maybe the, the final dead end it almost looks like. Uh, well, she's down there. I guess that's what... Oh, this is also at the top of the, uh, the staircase I saw before. I wonder if I could actually look back to where I was and see myself looking over here. No. Oh, I found a boat. Not sure why there's a boat there, unless that's how I got to the island. 
I think that was one of the... Yeah, there it is. Here's what I uh, used to view over here. Alright. There we go. Found her. That took forever. So what is supposed to be special about this? What is going on? This is probably going to be a one-part series, because I can tell if I did this in the multi-multi-multi-part series. Uh... Oh. You know I'm looking at you, do you? And she's saying something. As long as it's not look behind you, I can see you. Well, gee! I can see you, too. Is that supposed to be scary? Oh, let's just look out of it and be like, oh man, I'm spooked. Well, there goes the fence. Well, as long I mean, I guess, let's presume now she's a witch. She can control the weather and whip things uh, with her mind. But hey, at least now we get to meet her, I guess. It's been a while. I'm awkwardly staring at a woman on a beach, reading a book. Or she's gone. Again, she's probably a ghost. Get out of there, birds. In the shores of the city. Something else possibly going to happen? Uh, I'm gonna maybe have to look at the, the game store page as well um, to figure out if there's something I'm missing. Hmm. Just give me one second. Alright, so let's see. Uh, the game store page gives more information. Let's hope it, it, it answers some things. You find yourself on a strange island where the world has ended. Up, up on the sky, you see the moon shattered. Okay, it looks like my theory is right. Uh, a city in the distance destroyed a mysterious woman in an age-old outfit, biding her time on the beach as if none of it happened. As you traverse the uncanny surrounding, you start to unravel its mysteries. In contrast to a conventional adventure game, there's no hand-holding or demystifying the story by over-explaining. In fact, in order to piece all the puzzles, you might need to look at it beyond the game itself. The game is somewhere between a walking simulator and an adventure game. There's more interaction than a standard walking simulator, and it lasts about 30 to 60 minutes, depending on how keen you are to find all the secrets. It doesn't say anything about getting a different ending or if something happens. Um... I don't think I'm given much more, so unless the developer himself or herself says, no, you missed stuff. But all I guess I can thank them, based on pieces I gathered, I'm not sure if either of us are real or if we're dead. Let's go on a theory that we're not dead, is what happened would be, we knew the asteroid was coming, the giant ship was in fact a ship full of people, perhaps, that were set to escape the island 
or escape the area that's going to be smashed by the asteroid. Um, but the ship crashed, and the boat I saw on the beach was one of the uh, escape rafts that I was on, or both of us were on. Um, or maybe just me, because I started off on that island, but this woman arrived here or was already here. And just nonchalantly is reading a book being like, well, the world's sort of getting destroyed by the moon that shattered, and she's just sort of, you know, she's chill. Um, and as much as I can think about it is moon shattered for some reason. Uh, the cat, the catastrophe, the catastrophe of shit just getting destroyed by the asteroids and many chunks of the moon. Um, I'm assuming the little boat is indeed from the boat, whether the the giant ship that crashed, whether it is an escape ship or not, or it's just I'm a person that was on the ship and it happened to crash and I escaped and then I found this woman became enthralled by her, who knows, but um, it is indeed a fine mess that the world uh, sort of is getting bombed by the moon in its chunks. As I thought, that's all theories. Um, I don't think I missed any of the secrets or parts of the story. I just don't know if I'm piecing it all together uh, perfectly. I'm sure maybe I'm like 70% on, 30% maybe wrong, or maybe I'm, I'm fully right. Who the hell knows? But hopefully you enjoyed this game and walking simulator. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, and hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell down below for updates on my videos. Your shit's still in my eye and it's really bugging me. And until the next time. Rawr.